Hello friends, Coolio here, and welcome back to the channel. So guys, we're checking out Dragonflight, a game that's actually been around for quite some time, but has officially gone global as of like a few weeks ago. And so before we get into the video, I do want to let you guys know for full disclosure that this video is sponsored by Dragonflight. So if you're interested in trying the game out, then make sure to head on down to the description down below and download the game today, as well as they have given us a free coupon code, which I'll have on the screen right now, as well as in the description for you guys to get some free in-game goodies. So let's go ahead and just jump straight into the gameplay because the gameplay in this game it's easy to get into but it's hard to master and I love that I love that aspect behind this game now this is sort of like a, it, you know what let's just jump in Let, the best way I can kind of explain it to you guys is to actually show you the game came the gameplay so it's kind of like this like flight thing where you shoot the enemies and stuff like bullet hell style but things get kind of crazy kind of fast and I love it. So the whole purpose of the game is to try and get as far as you possibly can. And then uh, if you fell, if you die or whatever, to kind of restart, build your team up with the resources that you gained from the last time that you did this and then to see how far you can get next. But there are resources to kind of push you farther. So even though I am kind of starting off at level one right here, you'll see in just a second that I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to increase like how far I am really, really fast. So level 17, Kragen, because I'm fairly high already, it took me like two seconds to take him down. So once we grab this hyper potion, we'll zoom off and basically just skip a whole bunch of stuff and go to the next boss and take down the ancient spear. And so I like that. It, it makes it so even though like you may have progressed really far and even though you're kind of starting over again, it doesn't make it feel like you're starting over again. It, you're basically there to collect resources Get as many points as you possibly can, push yourself through, and get to the next boss. And then eventually you'll reach the point where, like, it gets it gets difficult. Because, like, the game is a lot of fun. And there's there's a good amount of challenge behind it, but it's an, it's an easy game to get into. It's just, it's, it's fairly easy. You just jump in, you just start playing, and, yeah, you just kind of go for it. So I'll show you guys some of the stuff that we can do right here. So there's a couple of different abilities that my team has. Um, the way that the kind of combat works with the gotcha system and stuff in this game is I've got my main hero. I've got some um, I've got some pets on the side that are also helping me out as well. But let's say I take two hits. So you see right there, my health has actually gone down. If I take one more hit, I'll be able to use a revive and swap over to my secondary character right there. So now I've swapped over to my secondary character and now I can start playing with my secondary character. However, if my secondary character dies, that's it. It's over for me. And I'll have to kind of restart and go through and build my team up. So even though like you do depend on the power of your characters, it is pretty easy if you're not paying attention to it and stuff to kind of get taken down. But I mean, once you get powerful enough, things get very, very easy for you. Now, I've just activated a power strike ability. I've got a total of nine that I can use right now, but you can buy, I, I think maybe nine might be the highest, but it's an easy way to kind of just clear through some of the stages and stuff, SS rank. Clear it, grab the resources, grab the hyper potion, and there we go. So there's a lot of different abilities that you get in this game. So as you're going through in your plane, like things will drop. Like I got a magnet that will attract resources like gold and gems. Um, another thing that I'll end up getting is there are these cards, these crests that you can get in the game. Let me go ahead and take this guy down. When you collect the crests that like pop out of the monsters and stuff, you'll be able to activate some of your crest abilities. And I'll show you guys those in a second too, because that's kind of part of the gotcha system as well. So level 190 black cloud i think this is kind of roughly where i'm at oh no no this guy's easy this guy we're gonna take this guy down He's gotta dodge all of his attacks grab the resources grab the hyper potion and there we go so another ability i have is i have a slowdown ability so when things start getting kind of crazy and i'm not really sure what to do i can actually go ahead and activate a slowdown ability and it'll slow all the minor minions on the field i don't think it works against bosses so do keep that in mind Ooh, nice. Okay, dodge the meteors. Now you have limited resources when it comes to like power shots and like um, using the slowdown effect and stuff like that. So you do need to be careful. It's all about trying to get as far as you possibly can and being smart with your abilities. But you can see I've got tons of stuff kind of going on the screen right now. I've got my pets activating their abilities. Use my power gauge, take that guy out. I do recommend too, to try and kill every enemy that shows up because the more that you killed, uh, the more that you kill, the higher bonuses that you're going to be able to get. And I ended up dying. It's okay. I got taken out. So that's kind of how far I got. So I got some orbs I can use to in the gotcha system. Got some awakening fragments for the two characters I have that will allow me to continue to upgrade them, which I love the awakening system in this game. And I'll show you guys that in just a second because you guys know me. I am a huge fan of games with visual progression. So 
Uh, we got some rewards. Completed some uh, different achievements. Let's see. We might actually get a few. So look at this. We actually ended up hitting my new high score. So my previous high score, I think, was somewhere around like 3.1 million. And now we're almost at 4 million. So I've pushed myself up the leaderboard, Coolio. I'm now third in the overall rank challenge. <laughs> I'm actually doing pretty dang good. And then I need to go through, I need to upgrade some of my characters and stuff. So if I wanted to continue to progress and move my account, there's a few things that you can do. One, you've got the crest system in this game, which is another form of like, because the gotcha system in this game kind of focuses more on the crests and the like the dragons and pets, the hatchlings that you'll be able to collect and not so much the characters. Cause I mean, you can go through and you can unlock the characters. There's not a whole bunch in the game, but um, you do unlock them fairly quickly. And the reason why they do this is they want you to focus on just playing through the game, getting as far as you can and combining the different abilities of the characters, which by the way, I have to say, I freaking love this character, Rihel right here. She is gorgeous. I just unlocked her. I think she looks fantastic. This is what she looks like at the first awaken and then the second awaken. So yeah, there's that visual progression. You guys know me. If there is visual progression in the game, that is a huge bonus for me. And my other favorite one is Iru. Let's go ahead and take a look at her um her awaken so this is what she looks like right now looks so good awaken uh, first awaken again looks amazing and then second awaken look at that oh my gosh i can't wait to upgrade these characters and then we got nia rose nil jean and the thing is the interesting thing about these characters is they're basically based around like what kind of abilities they bring to the field so jean here stops enemy projectiles three times Possible to increase up to five times by enhancing her skill. So she's more of like a de defensive character. So if you're going to want to try to go as far as possible by using defensive tactics, she's a great character to have. So if, like, if you're not very good at like moving your characters around and dodging attacks and stuff, if it's like too overwhelming, she'd be a great character to have. Now, the one that I'm currently using, uh, Rihel, she increases the distance score faster. So she's the kind of character that you want to go through and try to ramp up your score as fast as you can. And so that's the main reason why I picked her. Now, when it comes to going through and enhancing it, all you need is gold to enhance your character's abilities. And it's fairly easy starting off. Once you go through and start awakening them, you'll have to spend a little bit more resources. But basically, you just spend gold to kind of go through and upgrade each of these different abilities. They all have different abilities they can use. For example, critical increase the chance of critical hit. Uh, hyper increase the racing time of hyper flight. So you can see their overall abilities. One thing I do like is uh, the elemental change that we got right here. So if I wanted to, I could spend some gems ago and kind of change the uh her overall elemental attribute i love that and then the inv inventory now the inventory is pretty straightforward you got your weapon you've got your armor and then your you, you got your artifact but where it kind of gets more interesting is there are items specifically designed for specific characters so for example this is iru's necklace this is for my halloween girl my my witch character which i freaking love her she's awesome uh reduces the amount of mana needed to activate iru's magic by 10 does not reduce it to less than 50. So that is an item that you would specifically want for that specific character. So I do like that. There's, you know, those rare items and stuff that you're going to want to collect. Now let's go ahead and talk about the divine crest. I love these things. Like they're kind of cool. They're like little cards, attributes and stuff that you can get that you can put on to kind of further customize your team. So I've got a total of four right now, but you can go and you can create them. Now you guys have probably seen this in other gacha games, but Basically, you've got all these different resources and you can select different formulas that you can do to create specific crests. So let's say I wanted a new yellow crest. Actually, let me see what crests I have. Um, I need a new red one. I've got a two star red one. So let's go ahead and pick red crest, accept, and then it'll go on a timer. So seven hours. Let's go ahead and pick another one. But if you want, you can go ahead and hit get now. I have a ticket, so we're going to go ahead and use that. And we got ourselves a three-star tulip divine crest so this one homing missile fires homing missiles with 4743 uh power so that's the new crest i ended up just obtaining and then you get these um experience crests these go these growth orbs which you can then use to level up that specific one so that's a three star um we can go ahead and i'll show you guys how to combine it together use all level three so there you go i'm upgrading it now it's at level three. The other way you can go through, you can upgrade your characters is by uh, unlocking these hatchlings, which by the way, the hatchlings look really cool. So this is uh, Chatra Moot. I like the art design in this game. Leah, and then we got a fairy, Pearl, and then Wark. And then you can see their overall abilities as well as additional effects that you can get too. You can also go through, you can upgrade these ones as well. 
Um, the way that you get them is in your inventory, you'll find like eggs. Let me go ahead and use an egg and see if we can't get anything. We got the hatchling hatch, the barren hatchling. And then we've got one more that I saved as well. And curry. So there's that one. So if I wanted to, I can go through and kind of customize and stuff and fix up my team. Now when you're going through and you're going through the different worlds and leagues and stuff. Right now I'm just in this beginner one. Um, the next one up is this one right here, the Champions League, which you need 2 million points in order to enter that in the Champions League. I'm still in the Warrior ranks. Um, but there's also different stages that you can go through too and collect uh, different materials um, to further enhance your overall team. These ones are shorter. They're not like an endless run that you're trying to go through. These ones are more quick uh, battles and stuff. The one thing I do want to talk to you guys about is the arena. The arena in this game is really, really interesting. We're going to go ahead and just like jump into a battle. And I'll show you guys kind of how the uh, the battle system in this game works because it's you versus two other players and it's basically whoever can get to the end first, but you're trying to kill all the enemies on your screen while also activating your fairies on the left and the fairies will like distract and hurt the enemies and stuff. It, it gets ridiculous, you guys, because you gotta, you know, kill everything on the screen, use your boost to try to get as far as you can, activate your fairies, there's gems that will drop that will give you energy to use your fairies as much as often. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you got to pay attention to. And it gets it gets wild, guys. It gets wild and so much fun. Okay. Keep going. Let's see how far... Man, I am behind still. So you don't want to hit the enemies. You don't want to hit the, the little foes and stuff that pop up because it will slow you down. You want to try to kill them all, get the boost. And try to use your fairies to attack... And get as far into the game as you possibly can. Shoot. So, you see, I don't have any life points in this one. It's because every time you get hurt, you slow down. And they're, they're so... Oh, my gosh. They're so far ahead of me. Nice. Okay. Nice. Com get those combos. If I can get my boost. Hopefully get back into this game. I just need one more boost. Come on. I need to kill this boss and then I can... Take the boss down. Boost. Oh, they're so much farther than I am. I need to go through and upgrade my cards or my characters. Okay, here's another boss. Oh, gosh. I'm losing. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. Get the energy. You know what? I'm actually right behind this one guy. If I can get my boost, I might be able to actually catch up to him. Oh my gosh, where, where am I? Oh, so I was third place. So yeah, that's PvP in this game, and I like it. I'm digging it. I'm not very good at it, but I really do like it. So there you guys go. That is Dragonflight now available globally. And again, thank you so much to Dragonflight for sponsoring this video. And here is the coupon code again for you guys to get some in-game free goodies. And if you guys are interested in trying the game out, make sure to head on down to the description down below and download the game today. Well, friends, my name is Coolio, and I'll see you next time.